All right, hi guys, how you doing? Uh, continuing on with chapter three, we're gonna look at lesson three two, which is very similar to three one, just kind of continuing on uh, some of the stuff only we're looking at recording different types of transactions, uh, including one that is going to uh, be definitely different than what you saw on three one. Uh, but we are still uh, analyzing and recording cash transactions, uh, but we're gonna introduce uh, transactions that include paying on account as well. So sim same transactions you saw in chapters one and two, um, but just looking at how to record those. So uh, there's a few different examples here to go through quick, and then I will go through the MindTap assignments. Uh, so again, uh, paid cash for an insurance uh, is a type of transaction that you saw in chapters one and two. So it should be pretty good at knowing what happens at that point but just as a uh, as a review here from chapter two looking at our t accounts um, when you look at uh, what accounts are impacted by this we have the prepaid insurance account and our cash account both assets so one needs to go up and one needs to go down to keep our accounting equation in balance so in this case we are going to debit our prepaid insurance to make that go up by 900 credit cash make that go down by 900 so then we're going to look at making these uh, recordings or these entries in our journal. So what is the date? Uh, January 3rd. So remember, we're still working in January, so we still don't need to write Jan 3. We just need to write the 3 down here uh, for the date because we are still in January. Uh, number two, what is the debit? Uh, so the debit is recorded in the general column because our debit is prepaid insurance, which is not one of our uh, sort of uh, special accounts uh, listed in there. So we're gonna write in prepaid insurance on the account title, We've gotta type that in. Um, our document number is check number two. No, I'm just jumping ahead, that's step four. Uh, so let's continue, we'll go back. So our debit, uh, type in prepaid insurance on the account title, and then type in $900 is the amount under the general debit column. Number three, where's our credits? We are crediting cash here, so we can credit cash over here on the right, underneath our special account column uh, for cash, $900 there. And then number four, what I jumped ahead, uh, our document number, source document is C2 for check number two. So this one is just like those last two that you saw in 3.1, very, very similar uh, to the supplies, really, because they're two asset accounts. So let's look at one that's a little bit different here, buying supplies on account. So anytime you know you buy supplies on account, it means that you're getting supplies. So we're gonna debit uh, supplies, that's gonna go up, that's an asset account. Uh, but then we also need to credit accounts payable because we bought supplies on account from Canyon Office Supplies, uh, which means we owe them money. We didn't pay cash for them right now, but we owe them $220. So um, our, T accounts here from chapter two, debiting supplies for 220, crediting accounts payable, which is a liability account for Canyon Office Supply. So how does that look down here? As you'll notice, the previous ones that we worked with, they were all working with a cash account, which is one of our special account columns. But this one includes supplies and accounts payable, neither of which are our special account titles. So for this one transaction now, we are gonna have two different lines, one for the debit, one for the credit, still some of the same dates, we're gonna do that, and the document number there. So let's walk through this again, just like we have been before. Write the dates in the column. So um, we're gonna look at our debits first, that's always what we record first is our debits, and so we know that our supplies, that's what we're gonna debit. So here, we're gonna write the date as five, because we're still in January, our debit, like I was just saying, is going to come from supplies. So we have to type in supplies under the account title and then record the amount under the debit column for underneath the general uh, account there. So where does our credit come from? Now our credits, we know that we need to credit accounts payable, a liability account for $220. And so we're going to type in, we're going to move down to the next line but we're not gonna write another date because that would indicate that there was another transaction. When you see a journal with this format where you have the date and then one account and another one with no date, you know that that's all on one transaction. That is one entry right there. 
So the other ones were different because we recorded them on the same line, but that was only because we had a space for cash, which is already recorded here, and whatever else account was being impacted. But now we have to move on to two lines. So date only on the first one, no date down here, but we know that our account here is accounts payable, canning office supply. So we type that in and then we record our credit amount of $220 here. So same principles, we're gonna debit one thing, credit another, keep things equal. One's going up on the asset side, another is going up on the liability side, keeping our accounting equation in balance. Uh, and then finally, same idea with the date, our source document is memorandum number one. And so we're just gonna write M1 under the document number, but we don't need to write that again down here because again, this is all one entry. Two lines, one entry. So the only time you're gonna have one line is when you have something either dealing with a sale, because we could record our amounts there, or cash. Last one we'll look at uh, is an example, paying uh, cash on account. So now we bought some supplies from Canyon Office Supplies on account, um, and now we are going to pay off some of that. So we owed Canyon Office Supplies 220. We're gonna pay $100 of that. Delgado Web Services is gonna pay $100 of that. So how does that look? Well, you know that uh, the liability account is going to be debited because we're gonna make that one go down. So we're gonna debit our accounts payable, Office Canyon Office Supplies for 100. And then we know that we need to credit our cash account because that is going down by $100 in this transaction. Looking at here, again, because we're dealing with a cash account, now we're back onto one line. All right, now we're back onto one line because we have that cash account space here and we can do that right there. So our date, January 9th, again, still in January, so we don't need to write January again, we just write nine. Um, our debit comes from that accounts payable. So we gotta type in our account title, accounts payable, Canyon Office Supplies, and then record our amount, our debit amount of $100 there. Next were our, our credits. We are crediting our cash account, so that can go on the same line over here in the special cash uh, column. A uh, credit of $100, reducing our cash account by 100. Finally, this was check number three uh, that Delgado Web, Ser Web Services wrote to Canyon Office Supplies to pay off some of that uh, debt that we had owed them. And so our source document number, step four, C3 under the document number. Uh, and that's it for lesson three, two. So again, just getting more practice with different types of transactions.